about, you know, he wants to have a military parade. Why don't you think about military families? And think about the fact that military parents, that you are sending their sons and daughters to what might be war. And what are your thoughts and reflection about that? I stand by my concern that we have to accurately and in full context talk about um, who people were in history and what they did on, on various issues. And on that, the issue is about um, individuals who were in the United States Senate who built a career on segregation of the races and who worked very hard against busing. And, um, and my position on that has not changed. Yeah, so let me just be really clear. Busing is a tool among many that should be considered when we um, address the issue, which is a very current issue as well as a past issue, of desegregation in America's schools. So I think of busing as being in the toolbox of what is available and what can be used for the goal of desegregating American schools. 91% of the doctors in America are in the Medicare system. So people should not be concerned or worried that they're going to have to give up their doctor. And frankly, I think that, that if, any, if you talk with people extensively enough, nobody's in the position of, of really trying to defend their, their, their insurance company. What they want to know is that they're going to be able to keep their doctor. Under Medicare for All, they will. Let's take a moment to celebrate that we are a nation that was formed on noble ideals, and this is a moment in time then that is requiring us to fight for the best of who we are and those ideals, and fight therefore we will. So that's what we are celebrating.